So here I am with Thomas Jensen from Back and Open Air. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Hi, good morning. This is the 28th edition uh, of Bakken. I think uh, so. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Did you count it correctly? <laughs> how, has it, how has it gone so far? It's the last day. Uh, it's gone great. Although we could do with a li little r less rain. Yeah. Yeah, the Thursday really... It was a bit sad because the crew was fighting for each little piece uh, of, 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 of lawn. So they were really trying and everything, everything was green. Yeah. And then in between 15 minutes, two weeks of work completely ruined. But now yeah, we know what it is and, and we take it. It doesn't matter, rain or shine, fuck it. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's yeah. the Vacan spirit. Yeah. Um, so, what were the most important preparations for this year's edition in the run? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as, as, as weird, we, we, now I have to say we, we got kind of a hat trick. Uh, we, the two previous years were really heavy, heavy weather, a lot of mud and. Uh, um, uh, so we, we were thinking uh, doing a lot of lot of infrastructural um, building work on the side, and there's a whole all, all, all new new drainage system which which contains of uh, underground water reservoirs. Okay. That, that's the easiest explanation. It's like like uh, drink boxes all like a massive cylinder. So we got different places and. And with that, there's a lot of uh, um, um, the beer pipeline. It was, yeah. was the, was the, <laughs> the, 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 the big, the big popular yeah. beer pipe. <laughs> yeah. Although on Instagram, uh, the pipes we were showing were drainage pipes, <laughs> not not the real ones. But just just to make it a bit funny, and everybody picked up on it. So <laughs> we thought just a little Instagram, yeah. and it went really around the world, really. Um, so we, we, we did a lot of work, a lot of investments, 1.5 million uh, euros went into the ground and um, a lot of the things work but I think we need some uh, uh, fine tuning so they're already taking notes and, and uh, yeah. The other, the other thing is we renamed the stages. Oh yeah, yeah, faster, yeah. Harder, harder. yeah and we improved the uh, on top. We had a great sound last year, but uh, I think uh, we we did bring in another delay line. A delay line okay. is is more loud because uh, in the audience. Okay. So that you have even when you're further away uh, uh, off stage, you have a. You have the real experience, yeah. yeah. We we noticed it with Lars uh, that we were standing at the back and we yeah. could hear much better than the previous years. Yeah. So so I think uh, yeah I think a lot of the things really turned out great. Yeah. The the massive rain on Thursday was really a bit of bummer and I'm I feel so sorry for the crew. For me it's easy. It's no yeah. difference. Yeah. I run around the <laughs> the feet will be fucked after the weekend anyway. <laughs> No matter if it's mud or yeah. if it's That's how dust, it is. <laughs> mud or dust, or um, I don't really care. But but for the crew, having fought so hard, uh, and, uh, and I, f I felt a bit sad. It was really like like you could play football there. Yeah? So oh well, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So um, I mean. Uh, what about like security with it, you know everything that's going on yeah. in, in the world uh, nowadays? How, uh, yeah, did you have to? Yeah, I, I know the question is coming up, but but I always say uh, for us, security and health and safety was always a major yeah. major thing, and uh, the way we treat it, uh, we have everybody sitting around one table. So all the local authorities, police, uh, fire brigade, uh, the medical staff, uh, our production, our security head off we're sitting once a month and looking what is the new situation is there something going on any new ideas any new uh, 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 things and um, this is how we treat it when there is a problem we get them all together on one table then we have a fair discussion then we make a decision and then everybody is following that decision. Yeah. If it's a bad decision, we all take the consequences. But nobody's saying, "Oh, I didn't know anything about yeah. it." Yeah, we all, we, everybody can have a say. But once a decision is made, we go for it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then we really go for it. Oh, cool. yeah. That's quite democratic, actually. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Have roundtable discussions. So that's good. So, so that that so that that's good for for the police and the local yeah. authorities. Yeah. They'll yeah, it gives them trust. It's nothing. Uh, uh, they are not getting presented something they have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. And then feel uncomfortable. So and everybody, everybody, everybody. The the high the high thing is our guests, our fans. That's family. It's not them and us. Yeah. yeah? And it's not customers. Yeah. You will never hear in, in, in any discussions when we talk with our people uh, the word customer. Yeah? It's fans or family. The family. And, 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 and we include the bands and, and uh, the media. Yeah? There is no metal without proper uh, 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 journalists and uh, even if it's a small fan sign. Yeah. So we, we, we don't really care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't care how big you are. Yeah, it's just. just Yes. If you're interested in, in the festival, if you're uh, contributing something to the scene, if you're doing something for bands, fair enough. Yeah. Fine with me. Yeah, it's good enough for, for, for you. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. That's, that's, again, quite democratic. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with democracy. No. <laughs> it just takes sometimes, and I, we're sometimes unpatient, believe me. Me and my, my partner is even more unpatient than... <laughs> I, I, I can go off like a bottle of pop as well. <laughs> But, um, why has it to be easy? It doesn't need to be easy, it just yeah. has to be good. Yeah, exactly. And it has to be right. Yeah. So, so um, going back to the beer pipe, we said it's part of the drainage system. Uh, but was there more the main, reasoning? The main, the main task we were trying to do is to have no movements on the infield whatsoever and uh, it's not a complete new idea because we were using we had beer pipes already but they were <coughs> not permanent the, what we're doing now is it's not permanent but it's an empty uh, tube system so every year we put the 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 the, the, the beer tubes in after the festival, we, uh, uh, the brewery, Bex Brewery, is taking them out, cleaning them. I hope they clean them. <laughs> now they use them somewhere else, but now they will. And uh, uh, so we have this tube system. So in future, if we need to sell more beer, we take bigger pipes. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So the, the, the main reason was, if, if this is the infield, you want no suppliers coming in and out, and they're all important. And they ruin it for everybody yeah. because they want their little epoxy job done, yeah. and then they. Yeah? So that's that's a bit thinking for the community. So you. So then, when we had weather or heavy weather the previous years, and we said there's no driving, but then mostly it was too late. You can't get with the heavy gear into the infield. You have to come with a forklift, yeah, yeah. and then it's all destroyed before it even starts yeah, yeah. so now it's all the supply comes from the outside there's, and you can't really see it but there's, there's really big tanks mm -hmm. and if we need more uh, the brewery is coming with a big tank and filling those tanks okay. up it's, it's, it's like with the diesel supply really yeah, yeah. I think the, the, the beer is now now like we used to do it with the generator uh, a diesel supply there's, for refilling, there's one big truck going around, but he's only driving on heavy roads, so there's no damage, and it's a lot safer for the crew. Yeah. You know, when there's hectic and you have to go in there, thing got stuck in the mud, everybody's panicking, and hey, that's when the accident happened. So, so now it's 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 good. Yeah, it's very more more organized now. And and the like. infield, I don't know if you, if you if you realize, there's nearly there's nothing else in there. It's just really stripped down to what you need. Some food, yeah. some drinks, but you don't see any logistics there. There's nothing standing around, there's nothing in the way. Yeah. That's that's for security. If we yeah. if we have to evacuate or if you have to do, do something we want it, no little little gaps, no dark corners, yeah. So that's that's all in that. But it's good for everything. It's good for the party, so you can yeah. you have a wider, wider look on the stages now. Yeah, it's perfect. There's perfect. nothing, nothing. Yeah. It's not perfect, but 
there will be a process and it will continue. So next year, next year we will, and next year we will fuck up something else. So <laughs> it, it will never stop. The most important questions, though, have you ever in the history of Vakan run out of beer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. We were close to be short, but then we were saying sending a production truck, two production trucks down to Bream. Oh, really? Phoned up the brewery, they opened it and, and refilled them. Oh, wow. <laughs> so was there a point that someone couldn't get a beer? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. That, you, that will you? never happen. Okay. <laughs> that will never happen. Never, ever. <laughs> that, that would piss off a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, 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 but on top of it, we're, we're, we're supporting our local microbrewery here. Yeah. They do a lot of craft beer. Beer of the gods. <laughs> and uh, the friends of ours say, Probably when, when you're a long time Wacken goer and they have this battle merchant, so they sell a lot of armory, but they're obviously they're beer fans. And we support Motorhead Beer, Road Crew. Yeah, Last yeah. year we supported uh, the Trooper, Maiden, uh, which I think is great, yeah. The way Maiden did it, really thinking they were really making a beer they like. Yeah, yeah, probably the rest of the world doesn't like it, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they, but it starts. Yeah, they, they, yeah. So I, I think that's the way to do it. Something you believe in, yeah, and something you like, something that's cool, and then yeah, if somebody or the fans like it, it's okay. But if not, yeah, anyway, definitely. if you won't, if you won't believe in it, you'll never yeah, have no, it. No, Probably no, just like you, if you it. never believed in Wacken, it, would, it wouldn't have happened, would it? A lot of people said uh, do this or do that, and and we thought, yeah, yeah, yeah they have a point. It's not that we we're to sometimes from the outside it looks like we're totally ignorant, but we're listening to people. But but then we thought, is it really what we dreamed of? Yeah. They said, oh, you have to mix the program more, and we saw yeah, that can be a point, but uh, no, let let's do it yeah. like we wanted it. Yeah, fair enough. I think you should stick to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will. Um, so I, I recently saw a video on YouTube. Uh, you wrote a postcard to Lars Ulrich. Did, did he get the postcard? Did he reply? I, no, I have no reply. But I'm not sure if he got it. I, I have to deliver it through a friend. And um, and but it's on the way. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know when we did the Instagram post. But um, it's a real postcard. It's a real Wacken stamp on yeah. with a real Wacken uh, 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 stamp on from the post office because we had a with a post office on site. Yeah. So I thought they were saying, "Oh, can you can you send something to your uh, um, family?" And I said, "Yeah, they're all here, <laughs> and they know it. Yeah, we, we're, we're all born and raised here. So what's the point sending them a postcard? They know it. And how yeah, could you think of somebody?" And then I thought, oh, who's not here? Yeah, oh, Lars, why not? <laughs> Send Lars greeting, greetings from Wacken. Will, will, that, will that inspire him to visit? I think they're inspired. Uh, I, I, I spoke on, on, on two or three occasions to them. They, they know we want them. Uh, it's all in, in the logistics. Yeah? It's not, you can't say to a band with that kind of production, oh, next weekend we have a birthday party, can you come around? <laughs> that won't work. Uh, uh, so, so we have to make an offer to the agent. But the postcard thing was more, yeah, who do I want to send greetings? And uh, um, definitely Metallica. That's very cool. <laughs> um, I, I remember, Back in the, the, you, you guys did a survey a few years ago, I don't remember which year it was, and you were asking, uh, the fans were allowed to ask different questions, whatever they wanted to ask. And uh, some... We do that always. Hmm? We do that at Metal Days in Hamburg. Yeah. And end of September, yeah, we yeah. do that every year. Yeah, and I, I think the results were published. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And uh, we, have, we have a fan group where there's nobody, not Holger and me, just a fan group and one guy of our crew. And, and, and they are, we are it's, it's really it's like, like like 15 people and, and they do, do kind of a think tank, rethink, and because then it's a round table, it's, it's again the Similar round table idea. 
Uh, but we, I don't want to sit there because I talk too much. <laughs> yeah? Talk too much, and I, I, I can talk people to death <laughs> until they sleep. <laughs> so, so we don't want that. So we want them to, to really criticize freely of anything. And if there's, there are good ideas. So a lot, of, a lot of ideas came uh, uh, from that group. A lot of ideas come from the fans. A lot of ideas come from the crew. Because when you have to work here, or when you're in direct contact, like a girl behind the bar, or a guy who drives the truck, sees a lot of little details I might not see. Because I'm in interviews, so I'm doing photos, which is... Uh, I have to do, but but then you, we don't want to miss the little details. Yeah, exactly, it's good to listen. Yeah, yeah. And but there was in in, in that uh, survey a few years ago, um, it someone asks uh, when are you going to bring ACDC or Metallica, and but the answer was that they are, I, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, that they were at least for the time being they were too big for Vakan or uh, or that they would bring a different audience not the Vakan audience no, no, is that is that still no, I don't true think, don't think it's a problem but when we, when we, when we were doing Rammstein yeah. we were close to sell out anyway so yeah. that was in September and we, we had like 2000 tickets left so that's for Rammstein's nothing and um, so basically we were sold out and then we announced the band yeah. uh, we could have said oh let's save the money but that's not the point. If we can get, we, we, we're fans on our own. If I if I can get ACDC, and it's financial doable, yeah. and uh, they're not saying no other bands can play or yeah. what, what they wouldn't. But but if I could afford ACDC and can make an offer, or have the chance to make an offer, and they're available, uh, I would do them. Definitely, yeah. yeah. yeah? Uh, and the only thing we're not changing the weekend because people plan their their holidays on it. Yeah. So I can't say, "Oh, I'm doing it in June now," <laughs> messes up their whole schedule. Yeah. Uh, and if you, somebody would say, oh, "I don't want black metal bands." Opening. playing after me so things like that that won't work okay. yeah so uh, 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 everybody knows what I hope if you're in the hard rock music business most of the, all the agents know us so they know what the concept is and if they say oh my client my artist fits into there or the management says on oh, it's 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 cool uh, can you make an offer we definitely make an offer Sounds reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On, on that note, then I'll finish uh, finish up because I know you're uh, you're busy. You have uh, other appointments. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. And welcome. we'll see you next year. Yeah. And then the year after that. And the